we are asked to select all these statements that are true given the piecewise defined function f of x. We're given f of x equals 2x minus 3 if x is less than 3, f of x equals the square root of the quantity x minus 2 if x is greater than 3, and f of x equals negative 4 if x equals 3. Now we will determine which of the given statements are true. We'll first determine this analytically and then verify the results graphically. The first statement is f of 3 is defined. Going back to the piecewise defined function, we are given f of x equals negative 4 if x equals 3, which means f of 3 equals negative 4, and therefore f of 3 is defined. We select this first statement because it is true. Next, the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x exists. Remember, if this limit exists, we must approach the same function value from the left and right of positive 3, which means the limit as x approaches 3 from the negative side or left side of f of x must equal the limit as x approaches 3 from the positive side or right side of f of x. Let's determine both one-sided limits and see if we get the same value. As we approach x equals 3 from the negative side or left side, we are approaching x equals 3 from values that are less than 3, which means we are approaching along the function f of x equals 2x minus 3, because this is the function rule if x is less than 3. And we know we can determine a limit of a linear function by performing direct substitution, and therefore substituting 3 into the linear function gives us 2 times 3 minus 3, 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. And now for this limit to exist, we must also get 3 for the limit as x approaches 3 from the right or positive side. So as we approach x equals 3 from the positive or right side, we are approaching 3 from values that are greater than 3, and therefore we are approaching along the curve given by f of x equals the square root of the quantity x minus 2, because this is the function rule if x is greater than 3. And as long as the value we are approaching is in the domain of the square root function, we can determine this limit by performing direct substitution. So if we substitute 3 into the square root function, we have the square root of the quantity 3 minus 2, which equals the square root of 1, which equals 1. Notice how the one set of limits are not equal, and therefore the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x does not exist. The statement is not true. The next statement is, the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x equals f of 3, which obviously cannot be true because the limit doesn't exist. The statement applies. We can determine this limit by performing direct substitution, which we know is not true. The next statement is the function is continuous at x equals 3. Using the definition of continuity at a point, all three of these statements must be true in order for the function to be continuous at a particular x value. And therefore, this statement is not true. And the last statement is the function is not continuous at x equals 3, which is true. Again, let's verify these results graphically. Notice how for the graph of the piecewise defined function, we have the line f of x equals 2x minus 3 if x is less than 3, which is this piece of the graph. Notice how we have a hole here at x equals 3, because when x equals 3, the function value is negative 4, which gives us the closed point down here. And then when x is greater than 3, we have the square root function f of x equals the square root of the quantity x minus 2, which is this piece of the graph here. So going back to the statements, f of 3 is defined. f of 3 is defined as true because we have a closed point here when x equals 3. The next statement is the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x exists, which we know is not true because as we approach 3 from the left or negative side, Notice how we are approaching the function value of 3. And from the right or positive side, we are approaching the function value of positive 1. The limit does not exist. The statement is not true. Next, the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x equals f of 3, which is not true because the limit doesn't exist. The function is continuous at x equals 3. Graphically, we can see there's a break in the graph, and therefore the function is not continuous which is the reason why the last statement is true. I hope you found this helpful.